what it looks like. Let's read it. It says, as someone who used to watch all your content, the reason I stopped to I stopped tuning out completely. Maybe he means I started tuning out completely because this doesn't seem to make sense. So let's try this again. As someone who I'm just gonna read it word for word and you figure out what it means. As someone who used to watch all of your content, the reason I stopped tuning out completely is because of the begging. I know you don't count it as begging, but mentioning support and memberships every five minutes became absolutely unbearable and completely ruined the experience for me to the point it started to become cringeworthy. You're at your best when you're playing something you genuinely enjoy. Don't be afraid to go back and replay classics, personal favorites, or things that you want to play instead of the next new hype thing that just fizzles out after two sessions. First of all, I have never once in any piece of content mentioned it every five minutes. That's ridiculous. But that's the thing. People tend to remember and emphasize things they don't like. That's true, right? Like, you'll be watching a movie, and you'll enjoy the movie, and there's two scenes you hate. So what do you think about after you walk out of that movie? The two scenes you absolutely fucking hated resonate in your head. You can't forget them, right? So you may actually have an overly negative opinion on the movie, even though overall the movie was great, except for those two scenes. You just can't get it out of your head. So I understand what this person is saying. They're obviously extrapolating upon what they're trying to say. What they're trying to say is, me mentioning contributions is annoying, and doing it too much turns people off. I know this. I absolutely know this. This is not, you know, rocket science. This is not a revelation. This is something that I've heard year after year after year. First of all, to some people, even hearing once, hey, you can contribute, oh, oh my God, right? <clears throat> but it, what's crazy to me is, they say that, but then they go and they watch content creators that have insert or you know paid promotion present in this video, giant segment of a paid promotion, or a podcaster who literally their entire podcast border is blinking ads. We've seen that on this very show and or other React events that I've done. We there's other podcasts where it's literally the entire border is fucking ads. That doesn't bother you. That's okay. But if the content creator says, "Hey guys, so how can you support me today?" Well, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. Please consider it. And then maybe a couple times during the stream, hey guys, so just so you know, it would be great we get some support because it's you know, on the slower side right now. We got this, we got this. If you like the content, please support it, right? And I get it. Sometimes I mention it too much. Absolutely, 100% will agree with you. Sometimes I get pushy. And usually those are times when I'm feeling a little nervous, right? Like a week where maybe it's been two, three days straight where it's been slow days. So here, perfect example. This week, yesterday, I did my React show and I did Starfield. React show did all right. We got a few gifted memberships uh, to the channel and almost hit the tier one tip skull. So it was a decent stream. Late night stream was dead. Starfield is always going to be dead. The game is dead. No one cares about this game anymore, but I need to see the end, right? So it's like, I, 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 why did, I probably would have done better all right, not playing Starfield. If I didn't play the game and I just sat here and talked to you guys for two hours, I probably would have had a more profitable stream, just being honest, right? So I knew that was going to happen, but we got to finish it. You know, I take my job seriously. This isn't Phil dicks around and makes money. This is Phil actually cares about doing a professional job. I can't rank Starfield in my year-end awards till I beat it. So I have to beat it first. Even if it means I have several streams where I make like nothing, I still have to do it. I have to bite the bullet. Other content creators are like, oh, the game's not good. No one likes it anymore. Stop playing it forever. Play something that will make me money. That's not what I'm about, all right? But yeah, admittedly, yesterday was a slow day. Now, today, I hope that things will pick up again. I mentioned it a little bit, and now we play and we see what happens. If you haven't noticed, on a day when things are going well, if contributions are coming in well and everything, you know I don't mention it? Did you ever notice that? I'm not constantly mentioning it. Hey, guys, even though I completely exceeded every goal I have on stream today, please keep contributing. I don't do that. I only do it when to remind people if it's a situation where things are on the slower side. And you know what? That's a necessary evil of not having tons of fucking ads on my stream. No referral codes. No blinking product placements. Dollar Shave Club and all that shit, right? That's the result of that. Not having that crap forced down your throat means I do have to every once in a while remind everyone to please support the content. But again, this is what makes me different and this is why I'm still here after 15 years and I'm still the same dude. I'm not someone who's completely transformed into someone that you don't recognize and you don't like. When you watch my content, you know what you're getting. Me. 
and my true opinions and the real me. I don't answer to a sponsor. I don't have to worry about having someone drop me because I said something so bad today that I was truly, you know, opinionated about, right? So it goes hand in hand. You can have a stream where literally I don't ever ask for a contribution. You can have that. But that means you will have constant things, advertisements around you, paid product placements, shilling constantly. So it's either way, it's a necessary evil. You understand? That's how life and business is working right now as a content creator. There used to be a time when none of that existed. Did you know that? You have to go back. If you go back all the way to shit, you know, 2008, I didn't make a dollar doing this. Two and a half years, never advertised, right? Then from the years of 2011 all the way through arguably like 2015, 2016, again, it was all ad revenue that I made my living on. There was none, no asking for anything. So no begging didn't exist, right? It wasn't until it never it became unviable to make a living like that anymore that I had to change. I had to adapt, right? So if you don't like it, I understand. I don't like to be advertised to. I don't like to be to be asked for things constantly either. I'm on the same page as you. I agree with you. There are days when I do it too much or I do it in too of a pushy way. I, I'm trying to get better at it. I certainly hope that you feel that I have improved since a year ago when I was playing Scorn and so many people rightly roasted me on the internet for the way that I, I went about it at th during that time. And everyone's like, dude, he's crazy like doing it like that. So, it sounds so ungrateful. You're right. Absolutely 100%. I watched myself back and I cringed. I said, wow, that was fucked up the way that I went about it. It's tricky. It's absolutely tricky. Because if I don't mention it, yes, I will end up having incredibly slow you know combos of days right but if i do mention it then everyone's pissed at me so it's like where's the happy medium right and the thing is we need to figure that out right we need to figure that out i want to do the right thing with my audience so that it's not constant asking but at the same time it's not you know, the opposite where I go out of business. It's got to be a happy me. It's just like with the YouTube videos too. For the longest time, everything was 10 to 15 minute videos on YouTube with ads all over them. And then people got angry at me and said, no, you should make the videos longer. Well, what's the happy media? Is it an hour? Is it a half an hour? And I tr experimented with all these things over the years. And finally, we settled in on hour long videos. What's funny is to this day, some people say that's too long. You should have went back to 30 minutes again, right? Can't win no matter what you do. But I thank you for the feedback. I appreciate you being honest and actually not being insulting because I don't feel that this comment is insulting in any way. This is someone who actually wanted to co contribute in a very constructive manner. I agree with you. And I think that we need to work on this in order to get better. And I thank you for your feedback. I would love <clears throat> for you guys to please give me that feedback. What is the happy medium? And by the way, the happy medium is not get those product placements and start shilling. No, it's not. Because that I'm completely against that. You understand? I don't want to become that. The whole point of me being on the internet making content for you is not to shill a product to you I don't care about. I don't do that shit. I want to be a content creator who enjoys what he does every day and feels good about it at the end of the day, not someone who has to sell junk in order to make a living. All right? I'm not fucking uh, Billy May selling a fucking Zorbies today. I'm a dude sharing my passion for games and, and podcasting and fun with an interactive audience. And I just so 